Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Maddie, and in this video, I'm going to be covering some of the miscellaneous editor features so that you can maximize your Remnote workflow while you study. So let's just get right into it. Before I get into these tips, I just want to mention that you can use the slash menu or the omnibar to access everything as well. The slash menu being accessed by using backslash in your Remnote editor or the omnibar by using control plus backslash to pull up the omnibar itself. So the first thing I want to talk about here is that you can insert audio, video, or YouTube videos into your database. This can be helpful for any number of reasons, if you want to include videos in your notes, if you want to include YouTube videos in your notes, anything like that. So let's go ahead and do so by using Control plus E, or Command plus E, which is the hotkey for it. And I'm just going to insert a YouTube video, the latest one that Mike just did, that's on YouTube right now, by pasting the YouTube URL right into here. It's going to give you a preview of what that looks like, and if you'd rather just have the audio of that, you can also just choose to have only the audio played in RemNote, but I want to include the whole video. Go ahead and insert that, and you can also resize it if you need to, to show up in your knowledge base, just like that. Moving on to the next thing is our lay tech editor. This is very useful for inserting formulas or equations for those of you learning maths or sciences, or anything where you would need to actually put an equation into your knowledge base. To open up the lay tech editor, just type in two dollar signs. So I'll type in two dollar signs here, and I can just type in the formula for, I don't know, the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals z squared. I can hit enter, and it'll show a nice equation here in my knowledge base. Another example, I'll use the omnibar this time using control plus backslash. I'll type in like tech, and let's do carbon dioxide, so CO2. Next, we have code blocks. This is for you computer science folks or you hacker type individuals. I'm gonna use a slash menu to bring up the code block here. So slash insert code. And you have this drop down menu where you can choose which language you want to be inputting. I'm just gonna choose HTML and go ahead and type whatever code you want to. Um, um, sure. All right, next are emojis. Emojis are actually a pretty cool feature in RemNote because they act very, very similar actually identical to rem references. If you're unfamiliar with rem references, definitely check out that video here. But to insert an emoji into your editor, type in two percent signs. So I'll type in two percent signs to bring up the emoji list here. And you can even just type to search in for whatever emoji you want. So let's choose a fire and hit enter to enter it in. And when you insert an emoji, it also acts as a reference. So for example, I can hold shift and left click on this fire emoji to bring it up in a second pane. And I can see all the other times I've actually used the fire emoji in my knowledge base. And I can link them together, I can find backlinks, and I can actually type some information into this rem. And just like rem references, if I right click on the fire emoji, it's going to show me a preview of that document, fire is cool, where it's been referenced, and some other reference options right here. Really handy feature for classifying rem in a more visual way. So next, you can also make a few cool symbols in RemNote. You can make greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, or these two arrow symbols using a combination of equals and the angled brackets. So let's say that I'm in math class and I need to answer this equation. Five is greater than or equal to x plus two, for example. So I'll type in five, and then I'll use greater than and then equal sign to make the greater than or equal sign x plus two. To make the arrow instead, let's say I want to do A goes to B, I'll type in A, and this time I'll do equal sign first, and then the angle bracket, and I can hit B. So using any of the four combinations of equals and the less than or greater than angle brackets, you can make these four symbols here. And the last thing I want to talk about in this video are the keyboard shortcuts. So as you get more comfortable using RemNote, using the slash menu, using the omnibar, which are great all the time to use, you actually might find that using the keyboard shortcuts might even be a little bit faster. To view all the keyboard shortcuts in RemNote, go ahead and click on the help icon at the bottom right of the screen and go to keyboard shortcuts. And here you can view all the keyboard shortcuts available for you to use in RemNote. And you can even fine tune your search if there's something specific that you're looking for. But let's say that you also want to change one of the keyboard shortcuts. Well, you can do that too. At the top right, you can click on the cog wheel and it'll bring you to the actual account settings keyboard area. And again, I'm going to type in portal Let's say that I want to change this hotkey from Control plus S to something else. I can change that by clicking on the keyboard icon right here, and you can register a new shortcut for Portal. Let's say I'm going to use 
um, control plus seven for whatever reason. And so if I type in portal again, you can see that there's now a new hotkey, control plus seven, for me to add a portal into my knowledge base. And if at any time you wanna revert back to the default hotkey, you can go ahead and just click on the X. All right, everyone, those are all of the other miscellaneous editor features that I wanna cover in this video. Hope that was helpful, and I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.